Of course, to my amazing people, my name is Ed Godiambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. We are always here kuhikisha kwa napata kuwapea updates, kuhikisha kwa mba zile news ambazo zinapata kutokea, tunawapa exactly wakati ambao unapata kufa. So the current uh, information ambayo tukonao ni kwamba there was a reshuffle ambayo ilipata kufanywa and most of the people are really affected and kwamba kuna watu bado wapati kufahamu exactly what has just happened. So uh, the information ambayo ni konao sasa hivi ni kila mtu anafaa kufahamu ni kwamba Uh, tumekuwa pale na shida tatizo huku na kule and most of these issues zimekuwa ziki affect sana diaspora na zinapo affect diaspora ni kwamba kuna wale ambao ni ma cabinet secretaries the foreign affairs cabinet secretary wa, ni watu ambao tunapata kualilia na kuambia tungo na changamoto kama hivi na vile na tunataka usaidizi kutoka kwao So the current information ambayo nataka ni pay watu na pato watu wapate kufahamu ni kwamba kuna ile reshuffle uh, katika ministry uh, that is uh, foreign affairs the cabinet secretary ambaye tulikuwa tunamfahamu kwamba anajulikana kama Dr. Alfred Mtua imesemekana kwamba usingizi imepata kumpeleka sana na watu wamepata kulalamika sana so so far sasa hivi ni kwamba amepata kufanyiwa changes na yeye sasa hivi anafanya kazi yani yeye ni ministry yani ni minister ama yeye ni CS the cabinet secretary wa minister of tourism and wild uh, wildlife yeah so currently ni kwamba yeye yeah, ameenda kuwa mambo na utalii sana sana yeye ni minister wa utalii sana sana ya yeah? so sasa hivi ni kwamba kazi yake ya kuwa ministry yani a minister ama cabinet secretary of uh, uh, foreign affairs and diaspora affairs sasa hivi ni kwamba si yake na hiyo imepata kuchukuliwa na imepewa jamaa wa kazi jamaa wa kazi ambaye anajulikana kama uh, Msali ya Mdavadi. Msali ya Mdavadi yeye ndio inasemekana kwamba bado ni the head of the cabinet ya. Yeah? Yeye ndio anasimamia wale ma cabinet na sasa hivi ni kwamba yeye ndio atakuwa anachukua hii ushukani ya kuhakikisha kwamba yeye ndio a uh, minister of uh, foreign affairs uh, and uh, diaspora affairs. So the information iko out ni kwamba Uh, tunapotaka usaidizi and most of the ladies ambayo tuko maeneo za diaspora ama wale watu ambao wako maeneo za diaspora when i mean diaspora na maanisha gulf na maanisha watu ambao wako outside the ua uh, U, uh, watu wako uh, that is uh, wako usa outside the country diaspora at large ni kwamba currently if you have an issue and we want to address it we address it to the uh anajulikana kama uh, msali ya mudavadi Salia Mdavadi. Now, after being ama baada ya kuachaguliwa na kuchukuliwa pale na kuhakikisha kwamba yeye ndio atakuwa uh, anaitwa atakuwa the minister of foreign affairs diaspora desk, alienda kwenye ukurasa wake and guess I just want to read for you what exactly uh, 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 honorable Msali Mdavadi amepata kuandika kwa ni watu wanataka kujua exactly atakuwa vipi. So guys, ni kwamba the other minister currently watu wanataka kujua exactly mambo ya ko vipi na uh, the current That is the current cabinet secretary of uh, foreign affairs and diaspora affairs eh? the minister for foreign affairs and diaspora affairs atakuwa anafanya nini na je hakuna mipango yapi ama mikakati gani ambayo amepata kuyaweka tangu yeye kupata kuwa appointed ama kuchaguliwa kuwa yeye ndio atakuwa uh, the cabinet secretary of minister of foreign affairs and diaspora affairs that is honorable msali amdavadi so I've decided also just to check on him na nijue exactly anafanya nini amempata kuandika nini so far kuhusiana na haya yeye kupata kuchaguliwa na je anakubaliana na haya so I just went nimeenda pale katika page yake ya Facebook and nikapata ameandika kwa ki, uh, in English aliandika pale kwa Kiingereza but meanwhile guys for the understanding of everybody nitahakikisha kwamba napata kuya a breakdown into Kiswahili ndio kila mtu apate kuelewa vizuri anapata kuyasema nini pale uh, katika <coughs> a post ambayo amepata ku post pale because most of the people are really looking forward now kujua exactly je zile situation ambayo wasichana wetu wanapata kupitia atakuwa anayatenda vipi so the first thing ambayo amepata kuandika pale katika ukurasa wake au uh, wa facebook ameandika hivi nimeheshimika sana kwa uh, nimeheshimika nime sana kwa kukabidhiwa uh, na mheshimiwa rais William Samoei Ruto jukumu kubwa katika baraza la waziri lililobadilishwa natoa shukrani zangu za dhati kwa mheshimiwa kwa imani alioniwekea kwa kunikabidhi jukumu muhimu la ziada la wizara ya mambo ya nje na masuala ya diaspora diaspora 
Ninafahamu kikamilifu umuhimu wa jukumu langu la pande mbili na ninaikumbatia fursa hiyo kwa hisia ya wajibu na kujitolea. Ninaahidi kuendelea kwa uh, kuwatumikia watu wa Kenya na nchi yetu kwa kujitolea bila kuyumba yumba, uadilifu na bidii. Nitatetea uh, uh, kufuatilia na kulinda maslahi ya wakenya ndani ya mipaka yetu na nje ya mipaka yetu pamoja tudumishe hadhi ya Kenya ndani na nje ya mipaka yetu so guys eh hayo ndio mambo ambayo amepata kuandika that is uh, the current cs dr alfred mtua na amesema kwa kweli atakuwa analinda so guys hizi ni vitu ambazo tumekuwa tukipata tukijisikiza tuki kambiwa kila mara kila wakati ni kwamba watakuwa wakilinda maslahi ya wakenya ndani na pia nje je atapata kuyatimiza haya the other time when dr alfred mtu alipata kuchaguliwa kuwa the cabinet secretary of ministry of foreign affairs and diaspora affairs kitu ya kwanza ambaye alipata kufanya ni kwamba alipata kuelekea saudi kuona aje watu wanaendelea aje na there is a promises ambazo alipata kuweka pale na akisema kwamba atapata kulinda atapata kusaidia wasichana ambao wako kwenye shida na ataangalia mikakati the agencies ambazo ziko corrupt pia ataangalia na hakikisha kwamba anayafuatilia vizuri na wasichana wapate kusaidiwa but so far we haven't seen that happening na uh, mpaka na wakati wa mwisho so tumeona kwamba alipata uh, kutolewa pale we don't know the reason as to why uh, pia yeye amepata kuchaguliwa ana amepata kutolewa pale that is dr alfred mtu but meanwhile sasa yeye ni waziri wa utalii mambo na utalii eh? mambo na tourism huko yeye sasa ni watu wa tourism huko and wildlife eh? so ametoka and the current ni kwamba jamaa ambayo mnapata kumuona hapa kwenye picha that is uh, msali amdavadi na tunajua kwamba bado yeye ndio overall uh, si, uh, the overall wa wale masies wote but sasa hivi ni kwamba amepoa cheo nyingine ambaye atahakikisha kwamba ana pigania maslahi ya wakenya. According to mimi personally ningetaka kusema hivi, uh, first of all I want to say congratulations that is uh, honorable Msalia Mdavadi. Kenyans at the diaspora are looking upon you wanakuangalia na macho ma- yote mawili na wanajua kwamba yale ambayo yako pata kutimizwa na yule the success ama yule mtu ambaye amepata kukuachia hiyo kiti ama kuondolewa na wewe ukapewa hiyo uh, wadhifa ya kuwa uh, kwenye hiyo kiti ni kwamba utapata kuyatimiza. Kuna wengi ambao sasa hivi wanajua kwamba wana tatizo mengi sana and so far I want to talk about wasichana ambao wako maeneo Saudi ni kwamba there is a big problem concerning the embassy ni kwamba embassy haipate kushughulikia wa Kenya wakiwa kwenye shida. Our first uh, uh, our first request or our first request or my first request ni kwamba tafadhali uh, honorable msali amdavadi tembelea uh, Saudi uh, tembea uh, Lebanon kwa sababu even though we don't have a bilateral agreement ama atuna mkataba na uh, Lebanon lakini kuna wasichana ambao wako Lebanon wako Iraq if a journey of a thousand miles inasemekana kwamba inaanza na a single step tungeomba sana uanze safari ya kuhakikisha kwamba maslahi ya wakenya yanapanda yanapata kuzingatiwa walk to these kind other countries more so these countries that our ladies are really suffering and being affected even though tunajua kwamba it is because of lack of employment uh, and uh, watu pia wanajaribu kuhakikisha kwamba wanajaribu kujituma ndio maana wakapata kwenda kwa hizi inches because they are providing like wana offer uh, job opportunities please visit saudi arabia visit this sakan deportation uh, visit uh, Uh, visit prisons ajua uh, watu wako vipi and also visit the embassy and if possible a reshuffle should be done pale kwa embassy ndo tujue kwamba vitu zisakuwa sawa the other uh, the other the other the other the other the other the other guy ama the other person ambaye alikuwa kwenye hiyo ama the other uh, uh, mheshimiwa mwenye alikuwa kwenye hiyo kiti hakupata kufanya yale ambayo alitaki kana so far and people feel that walikuwa uh, awajapata kusaidika so far sisi na kuomba tu to, uh, to minimize ama kujaribu kupunguza vifo vya wasichana ambao wanapata kufariki Saudi ya wengine wanapata kuliwa wengine pia wanapata kuwa wako pale illegally we need to help on how tunaweza kuwa tuna reduce cases of wasichana kutoroka na baadaye pia wanapata shida pale nje na kuna mtu ambaye yuko tayari kuwasaidia and also the regulations of these uh, recruitment agencies we are calling upon are uh, this uh, this current cs that is honorable 
msali ya mdavadi tafadhali tunakuomba sana uangalie sina mengi la ziada meanwhile guys ni kwamba the current cs amepata kuwa ni uh, that is uh, honorable msali ya mdavadi hii ni baada tu ya kuwa appointed hivi jana na aliyekuwa hapo alikuwa ni dr alfred mtua yeye amechukuli ametolewa ame, ame na kawa ni wa tourism and wildlife so so far guys your cabinet secretary uh, of uh, foreign affairs and diaspora affairs ni uh, honorable uh, musalia mudavadi Meanwhile guys thank you for always staying me in make sure you subscribe to this an amazing youtube channel as we look forward to jue mambo yatakuwa vipi and uh, kazi tunajua kwamba tayari ataanza kazi na je mikakati gani ambayo atakuwa anaweka kuhakikisha kwamba yale maslahi ama yale ambayo watu wanapata kulilia yamepata uh, kushughulikiwa I goes by the name Edgar the Amber freelance journalist from Nairobi Kenya make sure you guys will pata kusubscribe bonyeza alama ya subscribe u make sure unakuwa kwanza kutazama video zetu tunapo wapa updates of what exactly is happening